Hey, Mark here. I want to talk to you about having a successful, great, livable remodel. And what I mean by that is most folks when we're doing work in their home and you're going to say remodel your kitchen or bathroom, um, you want to realize that you're going to have to kind of live within the confines of, of your home. Most people live within that, within that remodeling process. So what we try to do and what we want you to do is have a very successful uh, remodel. And that really gets back to kind of managing the project, the site management of a project. And that really is kind of talking about containing dust and any sort of contaminants. So let's first talk about how we're going to contain that dust. What we generally like to use and start off with is uh, the old zip wall system. It's been around, oh, I'm going to guess 20, 25 years, maybe not that long. It is a pole system that's driven. It's got a piston here, okay, like a uh, shock absorber. What you do here is you locate your plastic within, I'm going to get this bad boy open here. What you do is slip your plastic in here. Uh, it's a foldable plastic, kind of a heavier heavier duty, like a three mil plastic, almost like a thickness of a kind of a heavy uh, uh, construction grade garbage bag. So um, put it up in the room. Let's just say you have to cover one wall. We start from one side to another. That's just this. And down the road, we're gonna do uh, some live uh, on pro in project, we're going to show you how to set up a zip wall and how to kind of get yourself prepared for that livable remodel. Okay, so we're going to put that to the side here. And in that zip wall system, they have a couple things uh, that you can use what they call zip doors, which is kind of nice. Um, within that door, door, that plastic structure, you can um, attach this. It's got uh, some mastic in here, like a tape that will, uh, you can apply it. Uh, and, and simply, it's, it's, it, this is generally for a doorway itself, where you can just tape it off to a doorway if you wanna close, close a doorway opening. Or you can put this within the framework of the plastic. So you can have access, you, uh, your contractors, whomever, uh, in and out of that project. And at the end of the night, you can zip it down and have it closed. Or say, when there's a lot of work going on and a lot of dust, say, we're ripping out uh, your backsplash or your tile floor. Uh, be surprised on how much dust is getting taken out. This will keep that dust really contained in the area that you're working in. So I'm gonna toss this to the side here. Okay, another thing we like to do, it's not something we have really anything for. Um, we like to cover all the air returns and the, the vents in the area so no uh, no dust goes floating into the ducts and then you have to have your ducts clean and stuff. So we try to minimize dust as much as possible. So that's really kind of, we've contained it, okay? Now we're going to talk about um, surface, surface protection and then we're going to talk about uh, using a dust control system. So let's talk first about what do we use to cover certain items. Let's just say um, you're going to go ahead and you're going to remodel your kitchen. Okay, and you have a, a little family room next door, uh, right next adjacent to the kitchen. What we highly recommend is this real lightweight, uh, I don't know, it's three tenths of a mil or whatever, real lightweight plastic here. It clings to just about everything. Sometimes you can, uh, with the static electricity, you can almost get it to cling to a wall. Does a great job, uh, easy on, you can put it on, throw it off, pretty inexpensive. Definitely something you're gonna wanna go ahead and go ahead and use for your for your you know furniture uh, possibly some light fixtures uh, we've got a product that we might we're, we're actually kind of developing uh, to work with covering uh, some light fixtures so that's another great little product I see Hannah's join us thank you Hannah and who else is out there Elizabeth let's see oh well thank you uh, thank you Elizabeth I appreciate that Okay, so that's, that's that product. Now, um, if we're gonna go ahead and cover the surface of, let's say, tile, um, granite or quartz countertops, and we're just looking to cover it, 
keep dust off of it when you're working around it. This is a great product. This is an all surface protection. It comes in a color green, so you can kind of notice it when you're walking. Uh, you can walk on it. It you know it doesn't get slippery. Uh, it keeps a nice tack, but when you pull it up, it doesn't leave a residue. Great product. There's some other stuff that's out in the marketplace, but we generally like to use this really after things, let's say, if you're going to install, let's say you go ahead and get your cabinets installed in your kitchen, and then you put your countertop on, and you know you got to do some painting or some uh, backsplash work. This is great. It sticks real well, holds up, pretty doggone durable, great for that surface. Also, this is, makes a great drop cloth because you don't pull it up, and then when you're done painting and doing all your stuff, you just pull it up and throw it out. All right. Here's another cost-effective um, product that I recommend in certain respects. It's the old red rosin paper. Excuse me. You can buy it just about anywhere. You buy it at the local hardware store. Comes in, I think, 36-inch width. Yeah, that looks like about 28. We chop it down. We chop it down in half because uh, we like to run the perimeter of a room, say we're spraying the baseboard. Uh, it's just a nice nice shield for us to go ahead and spray. What I don't like about the product is, it, and it is very, very cost effective, what I don't necessarily love about the product is uh, winter time, spring time, uh, you got a lot of rain, you'll get real easy tears in it, so you gotta tape it back down, so you're gonna make a little bit more work for yourself. So you're gonna save yourself some money on the front end as far as the product goes, but you are gonna spend a little more time on kind of managing um, your floor cover system. Okay, now let's go to what we like to use. Um, it's a it's a fabric, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but let me get it out here. It, it's a fabric with a kind of a real light mastic on the bottom, and the bottom is, it's kind of um, a lightweight, I don't know if we'd call it like a polystyrene, but it's got a real shiny top to it so you can walk on it, so it will resist water, resist paint, comes in a 100 foot roll. I don't know pricing wise what these, these guys run. Uh, it's a kind of a special order. You can't find this um, just about anywhere. You have to look. Uh, there are companies out there that sell specifically products like this. Uh, it's a little bit pricier, but I'm gonna tell you what, uh, you're gonna save time in installation because if you don't use this, you're gonna use probably a compression board, which is great. It's a little bit more cheap, it's a little bit more cost effective, but it does take a little bit more time to lay down. This kind of rolls off. We tape the seams up, tape them together. I'm a little four inch, I don't even know if that's four inch, three inch tape there. Uh, tape the seams down, lays down nice. You can reuse this, clean it up, uh, the surface. One thing about this, before you put this down, definitely make sure the floor is kind of not necessarily dust free but sweep the floor and then make sure it's dry then go ahead and apply it because it can hold the moisture and it does a really good job of sticking to the floor we don't want any additional moist moisture trapped under the surface okay uh let's see what else we got here i'm going to drop this so if you hear a thump there you go okay um our last surface uh covering is this is like fly paper, okay? It sticks to everything. We use this for stairs and carpeting, okay? Well, carpet on stairs, I should say. Uh, sticks great. Uh, a lot of times we're not working in carpet areas and say, let's just say you've got to go from the garage up to the upstairs bathroom. This is great to, to roll this all out and make a nice path back to the work area. You see a lot of this in, say, uh, new construction homes that are up for sale when they have people coming through their homes. So this is really the surface protection. I kind of gave you a, a, a quick uh, run through with this product. And everything kind of wraps up with my, uh, my favorite, one of my new favorite tools. We've, we've had this for a couple of years. And actually, let me tell you a quick story. Um, they called, I was looking for something to contain dust. Dust drives me crazy. I know it drives customers crazy. Uh, you don't realize how much happens when you're out there. So I called on this company, a local company. Uh, the, the product is called, I'm gonna give me a second here. 
The product is called Build Clean. It's a, if you can see me there, it's a dust control system. I'm going to put this up here. Looks kind of big. It's not. I affectionately call it Big Red. It's a great tool. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, it's about 35 pounds. It has uh, basically adjustable settings here, low, medium, high, and then there's auto. We'll cycle up and cycle down. There are two filters. There's a coarse filter and a fine filter on this. Um, what this does will move a lot of air in your workspace out of there. In fact, it says that it, it will move 6,000 uh, cubic, uh, 6,000 cubic square feet of air in a room, what was it, every uh, six times an hour. So roughly the size of a two-car garage with a 10-foot high ceiling, the air is being changed out six times in one hour. Great, great tool. We used it. Uh, what, what I, when I called on the company, they let us try it out, and I'll tell you, it was fabulous. We did a uh, a remodeling project in the city of Chicago where we had to tear out two sets of stairs and the beauty of it was never used it before we put up our zip walls we contained everything and I'll tell you it was a plaster project I've never seen more dust in one small area and our st uh, the stair uh, the stair contractor thanked us for having two of these on the project because it really did take and clean up the air and I'm going to tell you when you try to kind of live within that if you Got a severe asthmatic in your home, or somebody that you know just doesn't you know gets irritated by dust. Great, great tool. So these are some things you can have. Now this is something you could probably go find uh, at a rental place. It's something called like an air scrubber. Uh, it's a build clean dust control system that we like to use. So if you're not doing the work, just make sure whoever's doing the work for you has kind of these measures put in place so you have a successful, livable remodel. Thanks again for joining us at Discover Your Home. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks again.